Famiris, uh, what's your uh, what you, what you thinking about the first day in the tournament? Yeah, it was really different for me. Like we don't have this kind of tournament in Brazil, and it was my first time playing that without like the ball doesn't yeah. go out. So that was really interesting, and I really like to play. The, the game is so fast and we have to be aware all the time and it's just for 12 minutes so it's really important that you score the first goal and to be the first good. Well, as you are from Brazil and Portugal are quite technical, this is something for you. Yeah, we also we play a lot of futsal in Brazil, so when we are a kid we start playing futsal, so I think that's helped me a lot. Uh, to play here today. How did you came in Denmark? Yeah, uh, it was for my agent, Luis. He, my coach Brian wrote him and said that he saw me playing for the national team and he wants me and yeah. my agent talked to me and I said, okay, I'm yeah. gonna try. About the national team, you played over 35 times for Brazil. Yeah. What was your nicest experience with the yeah, team? Yeah, it has been so nice to be in the national team and I have been growing a lot in these three years that I have been there. So the most experience was to play the Olympic Games. So yeah, it was really nice. And do they already in Brazil take women football for full? Because in Europe that's not always the case. Yeah, in Brazil like the women's football is not what we want to, to be like. So I think we are growing also to be to have the Olympics home. It was really good because everyone have seen the women's football like more closer. So they are liking our football and they want to invest in more. So I think in this some years it's gonna be yeah. bigger. But you had the World Cup in Canada. You had the Olympics in Brazil. So that's for the team a very good performance to show the world what they can. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, how is it to play with a player like Marta? Yeah, she's a really nice player and also in the field she's the best. And of the field she's a really good person. That's I think why she's where she is. So it's always a pleasure to play with her. And she's also looking and taking care for the younger players to get them on her level? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's like really tasteful. She helps everyone to get to get better and she can talk about her experience. So that's really good for us. And last, last guest question, what's yeah. uh, your personal ambition for the next season that's coming and what's the ambition with your new team having in Denmark? Yeah, we want, of course, win the, I guess, Manchester City, the Champions League and to go far away. But we have the league and the cup. So I think that's our goal to, we won last time the cup and the league. So we want to win again, to win mm -hmm. again and be the best in Denmark. And is it then for the Champions League a disadvantage perhaps for the team from Denmark that the season starts quite late and then the next round of the Champions League is already there in yeah. much cases? We have a lot of games like close, so I think we have some time now to work on physical and tactical so we can be good in, against Manchester City. That's oh. not, Okay, that's then goal. I wish you much luck tomorrow further in the tournament and thank you very let's much. hope you win. And uh, enjoy the weekend here. Yeah, in thank you. Thank you. <laughs>